Hey, I'm trying something a little bit different today. I'm doing both an extended version, which you're watching here, and a time-lapse version. So I hope you enjoy this, but if you just want to see this done as fast as possible with zero talking, then you should check out the time-lapse version. All right, and before I close this back wall up, I've cut this in case I decide to put a niche in here. Um, it's probably not possible to see, but there's a three degree bevel on each side so that any water that you know gets on it can drain off. Um, this would get covered with like cement board before it was tiled and waterproof. So I got some um, leftover aqua defense. I got a cheap throwaway brush and a little roller. And this cementitious board down here in the bottom is not waterproof. Um, there's a liner underneath this um, sand topping mix. So we're not gonna do the floor because um, we'd make a moisture sandwich. But I'm gonna waterproof these walls and maybe an inch out. Okay, let's take a, take a look at my layout here. Um, this wall here is not entirely perpendicular to that wall, so I want to land roughly in the middle of a tile here. Um, and then on this wall, I may want to fold this pattern up the wall, so that's why I'm starting it like that. And then um, these two walls, this wall here and this wall here, are not parallel, so I don't want to have a really small sliver so that works out roughly a half tile um, and then same thing over here this works out roughly a half tile so all in all this is I think I'm happy with this layout so we're gonna start setting this All right, let's go check out what I got done yesterday. It wasn't a full day of work. Um, so we got about maybe half of this done. And you can see that I've taken a rag and like cleaned off these tiles. And these ones I haven't. So I do try to keep them clean when I'm working, but if you get them dirty, it's no big deal. You can just come back and wipe uh, with a wet rag and they'll clean right up. All right, it looks like the camera battery ran out a little bit on the end of that time lapse, so let's check this out. Um, so this is about a day's work that I did over two days, <coughs> and I want to fold the pattern up this wall. So I started on this side, but in hindsight, 
I think the best way to do it is to do basically see this grout line start out in the middle of the room and do you know two one two all the way down and then it's easier to keep consistent spacing um, the further you get away from where you start the harder it is and <clears throat> everything looks decent except this really this I don't know if it will show up on the camera this this is probably a 16th inch too thick um, here but and it kind of continues out a little bit but it all in all pretty good so one day's work spread over two days all right so the next step is i'm gonna do all the ones that cut um the take cuts um and then we're gonna do the shower floor and then we'll do the shower and and then this wall but i can still use those pieces tried to use my scorer again last project this is the same thing I, I got a new little blade on it and everything and I don't know if it's the tiles are cheap or the scorer is cheap but that's not gonna work for me Yep, I went around, these are not really lined up. Um, just went around and made all those cuts, uh, all these wall cuts. I haven't cleaned this side, that side I've cleaned. Um, so just did all these. And got this all done around here. Haven't, didn't set those in. These are just loose. Um, I, I know it's trendy, but I really wanted to try that. Um, so, whatever, we'll do it. <laughs> this bird, like, he can fly, but he's just like, super friendly. And he's not even flying away. I mean, this is a 35 millimeter lens, so it's not like a zoom lens. I'm really close to him. Hope he's all right. All right, I got these all um, set. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm happy with how this came out. There's a couple flaws, but I think the only one I'll know about them is me. Transcripts at podcast.duolingo.com. Even more dramatic. Yo quería investigar. Yo estaba detrás de todo esto. Yo tenía que seguir investigando. In a trial in Miami. It was like the plot of a movie. The FBI had laid
All right, so I've got the rest of the floor done. I've got these tiles cut, but I don't want to mix thin set because I've got to do a couple things to the floor before I start thin setting. I need to get this shower tiled and to try to tile that as you go will actually be kind of difficult to lay out. So we're going to do what's called templating and you can kind of see what I've done. The first step is to rip a bunch of thin strips of wood and we'll come back and hot glue them together and then I'll show you the next step. see how the template worked um, and so the one thing I'm going to do before we test we're going to test dry fit this but uh, some of the worst most egregious offenders are actually the way that these tiles were laid on the mesh so I'm going to just go around and try and cut them along some of these really bad uh, gaps where it's not consistent spacing and see if I can't fix fix it on my own as I set the tiles So I got this is this is what I like to do. I got these strips here. They're cut the exact width of a tile. Um, hopefully that shows up for you. So what I do is I take these strips and I put them in the shower. All right. So the next thing I did was I spent a lot of time, way too much time, trying to figure out all the patterns on these faux marble tiles. And this is about as good as I can get it. They're in groups of four, and you can kind of arrange them so they kind of flow side to side too. But it really, they just are groups of four. Um, this was frustrating. All right, so the next thing I did was lay out my pattern how I wanted it. That section there is the back of the shower. Everything kind of, kind of blends together. And then this section here, is gonna go there.
Alright, and I did a bunch of batch cutting before I left yesterday, so I'm going to put this last row. I've got this marked out about where I want it to go, and the trim's going to butt tight up to the tile. Okay, so i got a tricky detail here. Um, what I've done is I've mitered these corners. There's a couple ways you can do this. The worst way is you can do grout nose, which is when you just come across with square edges and fill the corner with grout. That looks terrible. It's totally amateur. Don't do that. Um, a really good way is to use a Schluter strip, like a corner. It's basically a trim corner bead. Um, and then another way is to miter your tile. So I've got these um, basically at an angle and they just go together like that with about an eighth inch grout line in between. So that's what we're gonna do. But to meet up with this, we need to make a template. So, and that, that's really, making a template is the only way, surefire way to get this to look good. You could do it and maybe get lucky by trying to measure and mark, but it's not worth taking that risk when you only have so many tiles that match the pattern, like this here, this pattern, it's lined up and stuff, so. Alright, so we got this set up perfectly along the long level with spacers and everything. That's important for when we trace it out. 
And then this right here is our mitered corner, so we don't have to space that because those just go up. But you can see it'll look pretty cool because this will fold around the corner. And then this is very faint, but this will also go around that corner. All right, I need to put these pieces up in order to get a good measurement for this. So I'll do that right now. All right, well, I, I forgot to turn on the camera, I guess. But um, you can see I got this level shooting about 45 degrees onto it. So it's pretty straight. And hopefully when it butts up, I can, I can consistently keep it to about an eighth of an inch grout line. Um, I think it should work out fine. All right, so I've measured this from three different points. Um, I've measured it from this point, this point, etc. So it should be safe to trace. We just have to be really careful and make sure that it doesn't move. All right. So now when you cut this, you have to take the line. So this, this piece goes right there. I want to make sure that there's a good bit of mud in this joint right here and uh, basically come back and wipe it off later because if that's not filled um, then you know you could smash into it and it wouldn't have any support and it would just chip off. Alright, and that looks decent. Um, I think the, this will come out really good. Actually, what I need to do before I go any further is this. All right, so obviously this thing looks pretty ridiculous, but it will make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna move it over and trace it out. All right, now we just make these cuts and if you're wondering why I didn't just move the template down to avoid those little bits there, it's because it has to line up across the top so you can't move it down. All right, we'll do one of these cuts together. Um, so this, if you put this right here, that makes a 30 degree angle. Um, so I made myself a little jig and that just helps me get this angle correct. Um, so with the template, you want to take the line and then I'm just gonna put this on here and make sure that it's not super far off. And it actually is a little bit off, so I have to um, basically lift this out here. I'll show you, this is a grout line. I'll show you where this goes. All right, and this piece we just cut actually goes right there. Or 
roughly like that. So we'll need to cut this little corner and save it, and this little corner here and save those. So we'll do those now, but we'll do that off camera and I'll show you when I'm putting everything up. All right, I got this row cut and pre-staged right here. Those tiles there are just me experimenting. Um, so I got this one cut and then I got the rest of them too. All right, yeah, and I got the rest of them cut here. I just don't have enough room to stage them in that bathroom where I'm working. So we'll come and get these when we need them. All right, I got this um, thin set mixed up. It's slaked a little bit that you just let it set and I think the chemicals kind of mix up and then you remix it. Um, so I got my laser level set up here and I'm gonna start over here. I got a couple more hexagonal ones to put in. Honestly, I'm just putting those there because I didn't feel like tracing any more tiles around them. So um, let's get started. So I'm a little worried as we get higher, I'll be more and more off, but you just gotta trust the template. <laughs> Alright, next row. Oh, it's a shame that's gonna be covered by the sink. I kind of put it under the sink for two reasons. I thought it would look neat if it flowed through the sink, but I also thought that if I screwed up, it would be covered. <laughs> this is, it's got this little lip there. Thank goodness that I was nervous about that. Oof. All right. Wow, we are getting there. Okay, so you may have noticed that I stopped the tile here when I was doing the rest of the shower. And so that's because I'm going to put a niche in here. Um, not a niche. Niches get stitches. Niches get shampoo. If you ever have trouble remembering that. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this to make it look good. Um, the first option is to picture frame with your bullnose. This is a piece of bullnose. I don't particularly think that looks very good. So you have another option where you can put the bullnose inside. Um, and I don't really wanna do that either. You can use a Schluter edge. Um, the way that I'm gonna do it is like we did that outside corner. I'm gonna bevel these tiles. Um, so I've got the grout line approximately laid out. And to, bolt, to bevel them and have them meet up, I actually need this to be an outside corner. So basically I have to cut away a tile's width from the this side of the grout line and then add a little bit for thin set. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna cut this out. Alright, so I got this uh, dotted line as my cut line. I'm gonna move the camera because I'm right-handed and if I try and film it now, I'll walk it. So, you can see this, uh, this overlaps up here, and that's important for the way that we want this to actually come together. So, so the next step is to box this in and waterproof it. Alright, and we're going to see how this fits in here. This, uh, looks like I need to shave it down a little bit on the sides. Let's try this piece in here one more time. 
want it to fit tightly. That actually, that fits in there pretty firm. All right, so see this, this is kind of a process of elimination. Once both of these edges are beveled, they need to meet about an eighth of an inch higher than the top of this tile. Um, so I just need to put some more spacers in. There's gonna be thin set, so it's gonna sit a little bit above that. So we're pretty close right now. All right, I got a three eighth spacer, just like this one in there. And so now I'm going to just screw in this side wall. It pretty much meets up perfect where I want it. This one here. All right, I think this side here, I have to be careful about this wire, but I think this side needs about a half an inch. So we're going to, we're going to try that. See how that works. Almost the same story if I tilt that out. I'm looking at the bottom, not the top. That, that should be perfect. No, if it's not perfect, it's going to be off on the same amount each side. Put it that way. All right, now I just have to do the top here, which I'll put. I'll put a, a backer board here, um, and I'll have to get it lined up perfect, and then I'll screw into it. All right, now I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. All right, and then this is how I waterproof it. I don't know if this meets, you know, TCNA standards um, or anything like that. I'm not a professional. I saw this in a fine home building magazine article and it seemed to make sense. So basically we're gonna use this stuff in aqua defense to waterproof this. Cause obviously you cut these edges, it's just gypsum. The only part of this that's waterproof is the front. All right, so we got this piece. It's gonna go like this. So that piece. These little, we don't have to worry about those little tiny holes in the fabric because it's going to get coated with this aqua defense stuff. And then we'll do strips on the back here. All right, these are the next tiles that I have to put up. So they've got to go there. When I, when I mitered this corner, I don't think I filmed it. So I'll show you how I miter these. It's not quite how you would think. Okay, so even though my saw comes with this, you might think that this is how I miter the corners like that, right? But um, you can't do that because the blade will wander. It needs more tile on the side here. Sorry, it needs more tile to get a straight cut. So I think the blade wanders. Okay, so, and you get tear out, right? Okay, so then the woodworker in me says, okay, you can put a backer tile and then cut it. It'll go straight, which it does. I can get a clean cut on an inside bevel, but what I need to do is outside bevels where it needs to be facing down and even with the backer board, I can't get a clean cut. So I looked on YouTube, I watched someone else's video and I'll show you what I learned. So what I learned is to first score across the edge and then put your angle at a grinder and then build, work it down at an angle with your pressure facing downwards. Um, and you have to go super slow because it's very, very, very easy to chip this. And I honestly, as I'm showing you, even though I'm trying not to chip it, I very well could chip it. Um, so we'll, we'll do that right now.
All right, so I got all these bullnose tiles, so I'm gonna put these up here and work our way around the shower, and then we'll go back and we'll put all the pieces on the base that I haven't done yet. So there's a, there's a little ridge back here that um, could catch water and I, I don't want to fill it with thin set because intersections are supposed to be flexible grout. So I have some leftover different color grout. It's, it's not going to show, um, but it's this flexible grout that will just keep that from being a water trap. Alright, so I've given up on trying to caulk this freehand. There are supposedly techniques that work. I've never been able to figure them out. i got to clean up a little bit in this corner here. I can scrape that off with a scraper, but the tape, for me, might take a little bit longer, but it works pretty much perfect every time. I mean, that just, that just looks good. You can't, there's no over smudge anywhere. It just looks clean. So that's the way I like to do it. And then this is how that grout will look on, on this darker stone. I think it looks pretty good. I did the corner, haven't grouted the rest. It's uh, Anthracite Gray by uh, Mape. And let's just take a look at this for our Patreon members. I'm not going to be able to grout this before I leave, but I uh, wanted to be able to give you a good view of where we're at. It's kind of dark in here. Uh, I'm going to apologize for that. So um, the only things grouted are the intersection of planes. Uh, those take flexible grout. 
um, but all in all, I'm very happy with how this came out. Um, so this, uh, I'm going to do wooden trim around here. Probably going to wear that brick and everything. I'm just going to kind of keep that like that. I think that's kind of neat. Um, I'm going to put some galvanized metal here that I have, and then I'm going to stabilize this stuff here. Um, but all in all, pretty excited about this. Can't wait to get it grouted. Once it's grouted, I'll get to drill some holes through <laughs> everything. Since this is a transfer shower, I have to have a bar going here and a bar going across here where I put the blocking and then I might even have to have a folding seat there. I'm going to try and get away with just putting a seat in there. And then I have to have a grab bar along this side here and then along back here behind the toilet. And um, of course all this junk right here is for the sink. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That video is going to be probably like 45 minutes long. I'll probably come out with a condensed like time-lapse version of this whole bathroom remodel and then a super long version. Um, you guys will probably get to see everything at least two weeks before it comes out. So anyway, thanks again for your support. All right guys, I'm going to mix up some grout and start grouting this floor. Um, so the one thing with grout is you definitely want to measure and do the ratio that it says um, you can have some pretty bad stuff happen with mixing grout the wrong way. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. This happens to be a 3 to 1 ratio by uh, volume. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm just waiting for it to cool down a little bit here because I am pretty slow and bad at grouting. And if it's hotter, it sets up faster. So I'm running the air conditioning. Mi salsa ahora, mi salsa para bailar, este ritmo tan sabroso, el ritmo para guarachar, yo te canto con sentimiento, mi manana te lo voy a dar, muévense con sabrosura. accessible bathroom um, so this thing has to be uh, I think it has to have 27 inches of clearance underneath it and then there's a certain amount of clearance um, this way as well I think it's maybe seven inches I'm not really sure um, can't be higher than I don't remember can't be higher or lower than a certain height um, even the mirror is like regulated and this backsplash goes up so 
you know, when I mount the mirror, I'll have to temporarily mount it like down here and then move it up after your inspector's gone. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to discriminate against handicapped people. This is my bathroom. Like I'm, nobody else is going to be in here. And then this grab bar here for the toilet, it's got to come out a minimum of 54 and it can't start any less than 12 from this back wall and it has to be at least 42 inches long. So that's what I'm going to install right now. All right, so I drew that out. And if we come over here real quick, get to focus, drew that one out too. So now we can figure out which hole we want to drill those holes. All right, this is the bit I got. All right, I got that other grab bar on. That was uh, kind of a pain. Had to um, had to use some masonry anchors on that left side. So, so this is uh, this corner here. Each one of these can't be more than 12 inches away from the wall. So, got to watch that measurement. I would say just look it up. Don't try and go by everything I'm saying because this is important stuff. And if I forgot something or got something wrong, so now we're gonna put the uh, toilet in. So I got my laser level for this transfer shower grab bars. This kind of nerve wracking. I mean, I really don't want to drill through this tile, but it's uh, federal law. So I dip the bit in the water as I drill every couple seconds and it, eventually the clay stuff runs down and kind of stains the grout. So there's my hack to prevent that. Hopefully it'll just go into the sponge and stay there. All right, that's one hole drilled and then they're supposed to be kind of towards the center of it and on opposite sides, so we'll drill another one up there. All right, I got these all drilled. That takes a while. So there's the first set. Second set here. Uh, there's the third set right there. Got that up and uh, the laser level is pretty much in the center everywhere. So that looks good. It was it's kind of hard to drill a hole through that tile, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. Now we need another one um, that runs vertical um, over to the right of the faucet.
right, let's take a look at how this came out. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. People say I'm too critical on myself, but I like this one. I think it came out good. <laughs> so this, uh, this vein of stuff was supposed to actually go like all the way up to that corner and I broke too many tiles when I was mitering the corners. Um, so look at that. I think this, this sink is pretty cool. I really, I really like this sink. You know, just gotta do some trim around there, but I think I'm gonna put some galvanized metal that I have on this wall and then stabilize the kind of the weird look that it has and actually paint over that yellow with white but I think that will look pretty cool so anyway, let's see if we can't get a really wide view for you it's kind of the whole whole thing is kind of the whole look from up high it's uh I think this looks cool too the way this line kind of zigzags and then it kind of goes over there and up and like through the sink. I like that. It's kind of cool. And then the same with this. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's pretty neat. All right, just skimmed and patched all these corners that were open, taped in. Um, so once that's dry, we'll paint this. Yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.